Hey everybody, today let's talk about how to add a controller to a, maybe you're taking over a building and you're just putting one controller in and the customer doesn't want to flip the front end over to a Jace, so you're forced to put the controller in a, in a um, will it work? Yeah, the NAE, um, there's a couple different varieties, uh, if it's BACnet, as, as long as the controller's back net, you can bring it in. If it if it's running lawn, uh, as long as the controller's lawn, you can bring it in. Same thing for N2. So today I got a back net controller and I got an NAE with a back net trunk. So I'm already into the NAE. Now let me show you using supervisor pass through. So if we want to commission a controller we'll get an error so we'll go application and controller this is my NAE we're going to do in supervisor password this is my NAE IP address the username passwords are already in there since this is highlighted here all we have to do is hit next and it's going to go out and it's it's going to find the controller but it does something weird. You see this? Well, not weird, but it's just Johnson kind of covering their butt. So what I have is a facility explorer, um, VAV, and it's it's a Johnson controls, but it since it's a facility explorer, they won't let me use supervisor pass through to commission to it. But that doesn't stop us from downloading it. So we can do file new VAV, create a VAV five. And let's see, what are we going to do? Electric heat, box fan, discharge air, finish. So this is address five on my controller. I'll sign the points, change this to address five, give it some unique instance number. And now we should be able to transfer through the NAE. Let's see, commission after device. It won't let you check that box. But it appears that it's allowing us to download the controller just fine. Last one percent is always the controller restarting, booting back up, and sending the signal back and saying that I got the program. That's why it stays on 99% the longest time. even longer than normal there we go so now we can go back into our NAE and we can here insert field device so do an auto discovery go out and search the trunk for everything that's on it it found our device so all we have to do is click on it now this is important right here where it says 
enter a unique identifier from the box below. I'm going to enter something like first floor. VAV 05. Then I'll hit next. Now we'll just leave this VAV 05 and I'll show you the difference. Next, finish. We'll add points later. So I'm not worried about that. Okay, it always adds it to the bottom of the screen. Now, as you see, remember we, we put first floor VAV 05 in here on one and left it VOV05 on the other. Now if I hover over it, it shows first floor VAV05. Now that's tagged like that. So that's very important if you're going to add it, this to graphics. Um, you're looking for that hover name and not the real name. And there's no way to change that after the fact. You can come in here to focus and you can change the name here but that doesn't change the hover name you actually have to delete the whole controller out and re-add it in to change that hover name so now let's add some points so we're clicked on the VAV on the controller itself insert field points next auto discovery it's going to go and auto discover all the backnet points in there. Now, this only does it auto discovery like this for backnet. Okay, it found all the points. All we have to do is hit close. It brings all the points in like this. Now, we can map all, but if we map all, it's going to map the folders as well. If you're a person that likes to have their points in folders, then that's the way to do it. If not, you want to go through and map individually just by right clicking on it or double clicking. Sorry. So anything with a green check by it, mark by it, is going to be mapped in. So flow. I don't have anything hooked up to this VAV, but I'm bringing in enough points where at least we can see what's kind of going on with it. All right, but when we're done, we can hit finish. So now all our points are mapped in. If I go double click on the, the VAV, and they're live. If I had anything here, um, we would be able to see. I don't have a stat hooked up, so we're going to have question marks there. So we do have damper position. So I will would be able to override that and actually see it go on my controller here. There we go. Go right now. So that's how you bring in um, a controller and points into an NAE, especially BACnet. Makes it easy. If you needed to reorganize the points, you would have to come up here and do. Uh, all items organizer and now we're able to move the points around as you see fit save it and now the points will be reorganized in the order that you saved it.
pretty easy. Uh, it's nothing like a Jace, um, but it's a, it's pretty easy to get around as long as you know what you're doing. 